So direction is more important than speed. A well planned work is actually half done. So everything states one important point that a direction is very important and that should be a planned one for attaining your goal because that gives you discipline in your success. So let's plan your direction for your success. So for those who are new, welcome to my channel Inspiring Brains. So this is Hari, completed physiotherapy, currently third year MBA student and an academy educator. So jumping into the video, let's talk about the four important strategies, three month strategies for your need, right? So the first strategy is focus. Studying for hours and hours will not give you success unless you are concentrating. So focus got a formula. It is concentration, I mean full concentration plus zero distractions. So everybody will follow this first principle which is full concentration. Of course I will study for 8 hours, you are going to study for 8 hours, everyone is going to study for 8 hours or 12 hours. But the second part of the formula which is zero distraction. So when I am with the book, I should be fully equipped with that book, not other, any other thinking. So this is actually focus. So the second strategy is three subjects in a day. So many people will follow certain principles like they will complete the entire uh, single subject in one month which means three subjects in three months but at the end of the third month you won't be remembering anything so you will be flat zero so don't follow such a rule so always try to cover all the three subjects every day which means physics chemistry biology for all the three months so split up a time like morning four hours for this four hours for this four hours for another subject so don't follow a single subject pattern it won't give you success at the end of the month right so always follow three subjects in a day now the third strategy is revision so many people is going to confuse the revision with the study timetable so both are actually different means every subject should be divided into two it should have some study time it should have some rev revision timetable right for example, physics, chemistry, biology, I should split into two, which means six parts. So one for studying physics and one for revising. So the portions, which I think are highly volatile, should be revised frequently. The portions which I studied yesterday should be revised for this day. So one part is for revision and the another part is entirely for studying new things. So two parts for each subject. So six parts per day that will give you a success. And this is actually uh, because of a scientific approach, right? And the fourth important strategy is grand test, which means full test. So again, the people are going to fail in this because uh, everybody will have a thought that once I finish the entire portion, I am going to write this test. So this is a bad approach. This is entirely a bad approach because this day will not come into your life. You won't complete the portions at all. It can be UG or it can be PG or it can be anything. You can't complete the entire portions. So start to uh, attend some grand test now itself. So for example, if I completed some 30 percentage of the portion, it's okay. Just attend a grand test. So for every week, you should attend minimum of two grand tests. So why I should attend? I just uh, completed uh, only 30 percent. What is the use of it? There are many uses. So if I attended a grand test, First, I'll learn to analyze how many questions are coming from the part which I studied. The second is how I should approach the other chapters based on this question. And third is what is the weightage or how it is splitted. And the fourth is the time management. So everything will be learning from your grand test or full test. So please be aware. So you should start your test now itself. Uh, don't postpone it for two months or three months. No that won't give you anything so start your grand test now itself so every week at least two grand test one at the mid of the week and another at the end of the week this will gives you maximum marks believe me because many students who are not yet completed the portion because of the re repeated attending of the questions they got some answers that will be registered into the mind and that will help you in the exam so this is a valuable technique and finally what if someone has done all the schedule for you, has curated all the weightage things for you and just give it to you to follow based on the scientific approach. So yes, 
so i have done all the scheduling for you so based on your thing based on your time based on our uh, mindset because some will be boring so based on everything i have scheduled the entire day schedule like when to study physics and when to revise when to study a new thing when you should attend a grand test everything so just you can simply follow to maximize your success so what you have to do it's very simple there will be a link below in the description just go into the telegram and there will be some rules based on that you will be directed into that group and in that in that group i am just posting all the things related to the neat and i am just guiding through my schedules so these schedules will surely work because this is what i followed in the last year and it brings many success so just go to the telegram link below and you will be into that group right so finally just spare a few seconds in subscribing my channel right as a token of appreciation thank you